This is my health project on the problems with the food industry. There are multiple problems, but today I will be focusing on the mistreatment of animals. So, to bring us to our first point, the this is a big problem, the overcrowding of animals. You know, they sort of just like, just to produce as much meat as they can, they just have all these animals sort of crowded and compacted in these cages. Uh, you'll see chickens, pigs, cows, just like crammed into an area, you know, like hundreds of these animals in an area that is not meant for hundreds of animals. You know, they're unable to act naturally. You know, open space is just, it's not a thing to them. The air is all dusty and musky. It's disgusting. The environment itself is really gross and unsanitary. You got animals just stepping all over each other's stool. There's unnatural light patterns. I mean, like... Animals in this kind of environment, humans would go insane. You know, if you could imagine 200 butt naked humans in a small, compacted, like dusty ass split space for meant for two meant for 100 people, we got 200 butt naked humans in there. That's sort of just like an analogy of what's going on. You know, people would be going insane. You know, it's not right. And so, what the since it's so unsanitary. They think it's okay, all right, we'll just pump them with antibiotics. But what this is doing is this actually is building up an immunity to antibiotics in humans that are eating the products. So antibiotics might not be a thing in the future if this keeps happening. So another thing, this is kind of just like horrific. You know, this is one of the more gruesome things. Physical alterations, you know, you'll see cows, they'll... uh they're too fat to walk on like their little legs, so they'll like clip their legs, so they're pretty much just walking on like stumps, you know. And I mean, it's literally it's something out of a horror movie, like it's something out of like American Horror Story season two. And so I would just I would call animals what they receive. I would say it's abuse at its finest, you know. Steps, you know, to make this better, because like this is clearly something that needs to change. You know, you. You talk about evil in the world, you know, it doesn't exist. Well, here's here's proof that evil exists in the world. So uh, what we could do is we, as a community, as communities, we could definitely pass a bill and take an initiative to uh, treat mass-produced animals better. You know, like coops with more open space, more windows, you know, just don't overcrowd. Also take better care of the animals. Like you'll see they're hiring like illegal immigrants, people who just have no background in any work, you know, it's kind of just labor, but I feel like if these were people who were capable of raising animals and like were farmers, you know, they were good at their good at farming, good at taking care of animals, I feel like th these are the people that need to work on these uh, mass produced farms. You know, and I've seen it say somewhere that this is the price we pay for cheap meat, and you know, I would be willing to pay an extra dollar or two for certain animal rights. So, uh, also, animals in mass-produced food, in the food industry, they are the least protected class of animals in the world. You know, I feel like for a second, the government has to stand up for justice over money, money from big business. You know, I feel like it's sort of like big business runs everything. You know, the government's got to intervene and just kind of give justice, you know, Give us some justice. So AGGAG, which was a law passed by Congress, was meant to prevent the exposure of uh, mistreatment of animals. So it the mistreatment of animals is okay. It's just that documenting that, filming it, that's what's illegal, you know. So this is just a crazy analogy, but uh, the Holocaust, it's not illegal. What they're doing, it's it's all okay. If that was happening in America, it's all good. Just you can't take videos of it. You know, like you can, if you film, like the bodies piling up outside of the gas chambers, like that's not right, dude. The person who filmed that is going to jail. That's kind of what, that's what the government's saying. That's just a crazy analogy, but that's an analogy that I made. All right. So, uh, you know, an increasing number of states are trying to do something about the confinement. You know, it's too bad though that federal government has more of a power has more power and more say over state laws so i feel like it this needs to be on the federal law this needs to be on the federal level you know we can't have state laws against 
animal cruelty because animal cruelty is not right. This should be it should be nationally unaccepted. So uh, you know, humans. Another thing. This is how humans are. Uh, this is how it impacts humans. You know, humans can contract salmonella, E. coli, and many other diseases through simple dairy, meat, eggs. You know, the situation that animals live in are just so dirty and unsanitary. They pretty much live in a toilet for a hundred other of their own species. So it's really unsanitary. Again, they give them antibiotics to sort of so they don't get diseases, but that just builds up an immunity. And when the humans eat those products, they also start to build an immunity to antibiotics. So antibiotics might not be a thing of the future. You know, you might just have to deal with sickness, you know, whatever, whatever goes on there. So pretty much mistreatment of animals, not okay. Um, we got to take more initiative in trying to rid the world of this evil, which is mass produced animals and how they're treated, kept. Uh, better management for the animals, better coops, more space, don't overcrowd, no physical alterations. You know, make everything also more natural. You know, they give them these hormones so they're all fat and big. Let's try to make, let's try to just have a natural earth. You know, natural is one of the best words in the world. So that's, an unnatural is one of the worst worlds in the world. And that would be the number one word to describe the mistreatment of animals in the food industry. Unnatural. Uh, so let's, let's do something and try to get this not only on a state on state law levels but on the federal level because animal cruelty should not be a thing that's allowed and uh yeah that's my project i just want to um educate more of the public so they can really get a look in at this injustice and yeah you know hopefully you will make you will make some sort of initiative to uh to rid the world of this evil thank you